Why? Why I have no powers? What? What happened, son? God, the creator of chess gave me no powers. Even my own army teases me, especially the bishop. Hi, boss. Bye, boss. Hi, boss. Bye, boss. Don't worry, son. From today, I will give you the power. You will give me the power? The power. The power? The power. The power? The power. The power? The power. The power. Oh, come on, tell me about the power. Oh, yeah. Your special power is now castling. Castling? Castling. Castling? Castling. What is even castling? <clears throat> Can I explain it to you? Who the hell are you? Well, I'm the editor of this video and I have to tell my audience about old rule of castling and new rule of castling, but you don't even know about the castling? No, explain this to me. All right, castling is a special power of a king in which he can jump two scores in a single move. Doesn't that just makes me a pawn? No, no, in 13th century, you had the power to move like a knight once. Plus, you can move two squares in any direction in your first move. Any direction except diagonally. What? Really? Yes. Let me explain this to you with examples. Let's say if white opens with c4 the English opening and black replies with e5, you could just play king to c2 and it will be a castle. Or even better to sound g3 and king g2. Wow, it sounds awesome. Yeah, but you no longer can do it now. There was an another group in this era which used to say king can move like a knight once but it's up to king when he uses that power. For example, let's say if black plays queen to b7 or rook to h8 checkmate, white can escape this checkmate if he hadn't moved the knight power with king to d7. But after using it once, you can no longer use that power. But today's castling requires king and a rook. The king and the rook? Yeah, it started in 15th century but unlike today's chess, it requires two moves to castle the king. It is written in the Göttingen manuscript that you have to move the king and a rook in the separate moves to castle. So according to the manuscript, if position allows, you have to move the rook first and then slide the king next to it in the separate moves. That's lame. Yeah, now finally let's talk about the modern day castling. For this castling to happen, you need to strictly follow four rules. What are the four rules? Number one, king and a rook must be untouched, unmoved. Untouched, unmoved, check. Number two, king must not be in check. Not in check check number three no pieces must be attacking the squares which will king go into rule number three check and number four there must be vacant space between king and a rook all the rules check great then you can castle king side like this and also the queen side like this thanks for this knowledge man what can i do for you just tell my audience to like and subscribe the channel and share this video okay like and subscribe this channel and share this video the power uh video is about to get end so see you oh all right see you